Do you want to learn how to write new business and risk policies using Microsoft Copilot? In this video, Manoj Kulwal will demonstrate how to write a new generative AI usage policy in Microsoft Word using the Copilot. This use case was demonstrated as part of an online workshop conducted by Manoj Kulwal and Alina Pikova in September 2024. Manoj is the Chief Risk and AI Officer at Risk Spotlight and is based in UK. Elena is founder of the OpRisk Company. She is a leading global expert on operational risk management and author of one of the best operational risk management book, Operational Risk Management in Financial Services. So let's dive into the policy writing use case. So I'll start with the first use case around how do you generate a new policy from scratch? So we will generate a generative AI usage policy. A lot of organizations are at the moment drafting the policy or uh, have already you know, issued that particular policy, but every organization needs to have a generative AI usage policy. So I, I'll just use that as an example to show the importance of prompt engineering. Okay, so I'll just go here and I will create a blank Word document from scratch. I will use Microsoft Copilot in this case in Word. So Microsoft Copilot also has its own interface where you can chat and ask questions, but Copilot is also available in Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. So you can also access the Copilot features directly from those Office applications, which we uh, all love and use. So in this case, I will start by the generative AI usage policy. So let me ask the first question, which, will not be an example of good prompt engineering. So here I click on Copilot, and then I'll just say, write content for a generative AI usage policy. And if I submit, then in this case, the Copilot will use whatever knowledge it has about writing policies in its database, in its memory, because the, the model has read everything on the internet. So whatever is on the internet, the model knows about all of those topics. So it has read lots of policies, so it knows what a policy looks like, and then it knows about generative AI. So in this case, it will go and start writing the various sections of the policy, but you'll see that this policy is not good quality. And I can't use this because it's in a very short and I, these sections are also not very consistent. So this is what you will get that if you just ask that simple question of just give me the generative AI usage policy then you'll get an answer, but it, it will not be very good quality. So this is where then you need prompt engineering. So let me then discard this. Uh, so we start again from scratch. Uh, and I will then show example of how do you use prompt engineering uh, for writing this policy. So if I copy and paste this prompt, so this is where I'm saying, imagine you're expert at writing policies in a financial services firm. Help me write a generative AI usage policy for my bank. And in this case, I'm using a fictitious financial organization called RWS Group. And then I provide instructions. So I'm saying that in my next prompt, I'm going to give you the section I want for that policy because I don't want it to write the whole policy in one go because that always gives bad quality outcome or poor quality outcome because the policy documents are not normally very large you have to break that into subsections. So you have to ask each section one at a time, and then you get much better quality answer. So that sort of is what I'm giving in the instruction that I'm saying, okay, wait for my step. And then I'm giving instructions that it should be clear, concise policy. Everybody who it has at least one year, one year of experience in financial services should be able to understand. So it doesn't include very sophisticated concept, which only experienced people can understand. You can tell something about the target audience and then it'll accordingly write the policy, which then is relevant for the target audience. I'm saying don't use technical compliance jargon because everybody in my organization should be able to read and follow this policy. So this is what is prompt engineering. It's the art of asking the questions, giving instructions so that I get good quality answers from Copilot. So because of your time, I won't go through all of this. So I'll just click on submit. And then it will say that, okay, thank you for the detailed instruction. It is ready for the instruction. So what I will say now is now write the policy for the first section. So I click on Copilot and I say that, okay, this is the first chapter I want. And then I want this guidance. I want the purpose, scope, objectives, 
So I give it some guidelines of what I want it to write about. And then I click on submit. And then based on that guidance, it will now write the content for that first chapter of the policy. Okay. And then if you like that response, you can review it. You can keep it. If you don't like the response, you can regenerate it and it will give you another version. And then you can keep doing that until you get a good start. And the idea is that it will never give you 100% start, right? So it's giving you a 50, 60% start. And then you take that policy. And then, of course, you have to then talk to the various stakeholders and refine it. But at least we're not starting from scratch. That is the big benefit generative AI is giving us. So if I click on keep it, then I, I get that content already stored in Word. If I then give it the second section to say that, okay, I now please write the content for the second section where I define the, some of the definitions I need to include into the policy. And then if I like it, I'll say, keep it. And then I just keep doing that, that, that if you have a structure that every policy in your organization need to have certain section, then you just keep mentioning those sections and it will keep writing that policy. And right now, yeah, I haven't given the context of the organization. So you can also give the context of your organization. You can give other policies as a template for it to learn from. So there is a lot more you can do to make it write policies as close as possible to how other policies are in your organization. So I don't have time to create yeah, all the sections here. So I've just created whole policy so you can see what a finished policy looks like. And then I just use the designer feature to do that, some color and formatting. But this is what the policy, the chapters look like. And then I can also use generative AI to generate some of the images. So like here, I'm talking about definitions. So I can you go to Copilot now and I can say, let's include some image into my policy because generally the policy documents are very text heavy. They're really boring. So now with generative AI, we can make it a little interesting, a little readable by putting some images. Yeah, so you don't want too many images, but this is a prompt you can write in Microsoft Copilot. So now I'm not in Word, I'm in Copilot, where I have a prompt to say that, okay, give me an image of a open dictionary with light glowing out from it. And it, when it generates the image, then you can copy and paste, you can copy and paste those images in the document and format it like, I have done here. And so there is an image there. And then I included another image here in the ethical consideration. Okay. So that's the first example of drafting content that when you're drafting content, you now use generative AI as a starting point. So get a 50, 60% start. Uh, so you don't have to start from scratch uh, at any point. Policy writing is just one of the over 100 operational risk use cases developed by the risk spotlight team. These use cases encompass critical operational risk management activities conducted by both first-line and second-line stakeholders. By leveraging generative AI tools like Microsoft Copilot, organizations can achieve a significant boost in the productivity of their operational risk management activities while also enhancing the quality of risk management outcomes. To explore these use cases further, feel free to contact us at manoj.kulwal at riskspotlight.com to arrange a complimentary 60-minute consultation. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for your time and attention.